this video, you probably expected something different. And a little choke there. I hope you like that. I think it was kind of funny. <laughs> but to today's video, we have a little 5 minute video coming out for you. Some pretty chill, dark and moody photography. Some super 8 looking footage of the GoPro. I will explain some things. And to the end, I will come to a conclusion about dark and moody photography in the nature. So we start our journey with this lovely birdhouse. We have a large aperture so we can have this really really nice bouquet as you can see here. And we go further into the forest. A lot of situations where we can take pictures. Here we'll take a close up of this tree and the moss as you can see here. I fought a little bit with the autofocus but it came out pretty pretty nice. We always try to underexpose for dark and moody pictures so we have the most information in the raw file, usually one step and patterns like this on the floor there are always beautiful and add a little bit of vignette there and we go further for the forest here you see my dog playing with a stick pretty nice and yeah try to take a decent shot of the ivy there on the tree My dog had a pretty good day jumping around through the woods, having a lot of fun here. And as you can see, it's quite crowded there and a lot of mess because of storms happening there in the past. And there we have this tree and the lovely inside of the tree. There you see it. Always a nice subject. And there you will see my dog playing around while I take a photo of those nice little blue flowers there. Definitely a vibe I always enjoy. Now you can see we have this beautiful tree with this ivy growing around. Again, had a little fight with the autofocus but nice with this one leaf in the middle. Beautiful. The whole trick with dark and moody nature photography is looking for structures, for all the details in the trees, on this things you usually just walk by here. It looks really spacey, crazy but such nice patterns and there we came to this moody tree laying on the floor with this the last of us kind of roots really looking dark and gloomy i like that very much now we speed things a little up not much to shoot there and my dog went a little bit crazy over there <laughs> And there he is, the goodest boy, having some fun doing, taking photos. And then you see the tree on the right hand side with the moss, really beautiful looking structures. Sun hitting softly from the side, nice details. 
And there was this funky looking tree on the left hand side. Really nice details on that tree. The sun hitting against it. Trying to find a decent composition on there. It wasn't that easy because the sun was really hitting hard against it. And that's always the problem with dark and moody pictures. You don't want to have that bright light on it. Best when it is overcast. So you have this softbox look. Didn't have it there. Still tried to take a decent image. And this already was that little walk. Just a quick walk through for a decent preset on it or darken the picture up, handle the greens well, and that's all. So, the conclusion is dark and moody photography in the nature isn't that complicated. Some overcast weather, underexpose, one step, have a large aperture, for a nice blurry background and then maybe use a presets, there are a ton of free presets on the internet or just watch your greens and the oranges dim them a little bit down and you're good to go maybe I will do a tutorial for this you can tell me in the comments if you want a tutorial how to get that dark and moody look and yeah so comment if you want to subscribe if you want to until the next video goodbye